So, today is July 31st, and uh, basically July 1st, 2016, I had decided to try to learn 3,000 words of Chinese in 30 days, so 100 words a day. Uh, unfortunately, I just didn't have time to learn that many words, and uh, my plan was to go try to, try to do that through Memrise, the app, but... Uh, I am kidding. I have successfully finished the course as of today, the Memrise course. Uh, it has a total of 5,026 words. I, um, I have finished it, so of course I learned a lot of words in these 30 days in July. Uh, 3,000 words. But here's the thing, of course. Uh, the first thousand words, right, like I probably have them um, more fixed in my in my head i'll be able to recognize them better to use them better especially because those initial those first thousand words i review them several times uh, the next thousand words i know them um i probably remember most of them and so on but the last thousand words that i learned i didn't uh, review them as often as the as the initial words right so what does that mean that i still have a lot of work to do of course I need to keep reviewing them, but you know, like I'm just excited that I that I managed to finish the, the challenge on time. Um, throughout the month of August, I'm planning on uh, making a couple of videos in Chinese, but I also have like a lot of different uh, exciting uh, ideas uh, for fluent ASAP. So hopefully, I'll, I will be, you know, uh, tackling them as well. Just to share some of my thoughts regarding uh, learning all these words through Memrise. You know, it's, it's an interesting thing because uh, as you're learning vocabulary in Chinese, at least the way I see it or the way I felt about it, is that essentially I would feel like I'm trying to make associations and learn uh, establishing links between three things. First, the Chinese characters. Second, the pronunciation or the pinyin. And third, the meaning. So I'm essentially trying to link three things. Many times, of course, I would know already, I would recognize the characters and know what they sound like or what their, their, you know, what their meaning was. But often I would be coming across words I, I didn't know their meaning and uh, uh, I, had, I would have some idea uh, of what the character could sound like because I wouldn't know the radicals uh, or have some faint idea of what they, would, they could sound like. But... Uh, you know, so sometimes it was it was tricky to establish uh, associations to link all three: the meaning, the sound, and the characters. Um, so I focused primarily on establishing a, an association between the sound and the meaning, just so that essentially I can uh, recognize the words when I hear them and also try to use them in conversation. Um, that being said. I didn't, I didn't neglect the, the symbols or the characters. I, um, I've learned a lot of them. Um, I can recognize a, you know, a lot of them. I think that I probably... I don't even know how many Chinese characters I already know. Definitely over a thousand, maybe two thousand, maybe more. Uh, I have no idea. Especially because like, you know, a lot of the, the words that I learned, although I... In this course, I learned 5,026 words. Um, a lot of them have, you know, basically similar characters uh, that, are, that repeat, essentially, right? That form different words. So, uh, you know, this was an interesting experience, but the thing I'm most excited about is to continue uh, learning, learning Mandarin, uh, continue pursuing my goals, and... Um, uh, I'm quite, you know, I, I just, uh, this whole experience essentially made me, made me even more interested in the language and uh, also in Chinese culture. So I think, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been an interesting experience. And of course, there were days in which, in July, in which I was, uh, it was just like, oh God, like, you know, I have to learn a hundred words. But uh, most days weren't like that. Most days I was excited to do it. And, uh, but of course, it takes time, right? Like I was taking uh, time off my day to just sit there and go through um, 
new vocabulary and review uh, vocabulary that I had already learned, and um, that's work, but it was it was enjoyable in the, for the most part. Um, like I, I also mentioned in other videos, uh, sometimes it was a bit frustrating because I, you know, like I would, uh, I was feeling that my recall uh, was subpar. It wasn't great. So sometimes I felt like I wasn't just able to retain the words as, as well as I wanted to. Uh, of course, due in part to the fact that I was just, I've been just learning a lot of words every day. And um, so, yeah, you know, looking forward, like throughout August and beyond, I will um, be doing a lot of review. But in August, I will pr focus probably primarily on um, Link, the, the content, uh, uh, Link the website, L-I-N-G-Q.com, because they have a lot of content with uh, audio and text. And I've already been using it uh, a ton, but throughout August, I think that that will be the primary resource that I will be learning to progress in Mandarin. Because then, you know, I will be hearing and reading the words that I've learned in context. And I think that that's essential to just, uh, um, you know, solidify my knowledge in the language and, uh, and progress further. So whoever has followed me throughout uh, the, and, you know, followed my progress throughout the, um, these 30 days. Um, thank you. Thank you for your wishes of, uh, of the, you know, wishes of good luck and so on. And, um, yeah, I'd love to hear, you know, what is your language cha challenge? What are your language goals? Um, you know, I hope, uh, hopefully I've been able, I've been able to perhaps inspire some people or uh, give some ideas to language learners as to what they should try to do in the, in the next little while. And uh, good luck, my friends, learning languages.